first log into Storify.com as TSMRI. You can log in using Twitter. Click New Story. Click the Twitter icon on the right. Unclick Recent. Unclick Retweets. Type in the Texas social media hashtag. Then hit Enter. You will see the last 20 results from the chat. Scroll down to the bottom. Click Show More Results. Continue to scroll down and click Show More Results until you get to the first tweets from the chat. Now notice we're on answer 6, so it could take a while. So far we've got 80 results, so keep going. So now we have 180 results and you can see some of them occur before the chat. So you want to scroll back up and find the first tweet, the welcome, which is right here. Now unfortunately these tweets are posted with the most recent first, so you're going to have to go in reverse order. So you go towards the bottom, you take the first tweet, you drag and drop it over here. Here's the second one. Don't forget to give the tweet a title. Sorry, give the chat a title on the Storify. I like to include the hashtag, the topic, and the date in the title. And it's nice if you could put a little description to go with it as well. So you want to continue to add the tweets. Remember not to go too far down. Try to do them as much in order chronologically as you can. You might have to shuffle around. There's A1, A1, here's some more. So you want to keep going in chronological order until they're all added. And notice that while you're adding, it's automatically saving, which is a nice feature. Sometimes people will still be answering the first question after the second question has been tweeted out, so you may have to change order. So you can see here that our last tweet came out at around 9 o'clock. People were still interacting though. So go ahead and keep adding those tweets that came after to continue the conversation. And then when you've done that, go ahead and put our last tweet at the end. Another good thing to do is to cycle back up through the tweets, depending on the chat, that'll be a lot, and then double check and make sure that all of our questions are in there. We had seven questions, so you want to go through, look for the TSMRI icon, Q1, Q2, Q3, etc. Then go ahead and take another look and check A1, A2, and make sure that they're roughly in order, that A2 goes under Q2, but before Q3, etc., etc. After you've done that, go ahead to the top and click Publish. After you click Publish, uh, click on this link, View and Publicize. Oh, let's try that again. View and Publicize. This will notify everyone that participated in the chat. So you want to uncheck us so that TSMRI doesn't notify itself. Go ahead and put a check mark by the other participants. and then click Notify, and they will each receive this tweet.
You can also go back and double check and make sure that all the participants are listed. So you might have to go back and hit publish a couple of times in order to do that. Again, click notify. If you look on the TSMRI timeline, this is what the notifications look like, and this is what people will receive. So now I've gone back to another tab. This is the actual store file. So when they click on the link, this is what they'll see. Here's one of the images, our title, our description. Here are the tweets that were loaded in. And it's a good way to preserve the chat and to have people uh, get to know a little bit more about what the chat's like. Thanks for watching.